Hello everyone, I'm Old Guardian, and in this video I'm going to show you how I make the thumbnails for my YouTube videos. These are not the most elaborate thumbnails, I don't do a lot of actual graphic editing. It's more about using a few ready-made assets and arranging them so that they make for an aesthetically pleasing thumbnail. The way I do it, I have created a library of these templates of myself. I recorded some video where I made various expressions and then I made cutouts of those expressions. I'm not going to go into detail on the cutouts here, but there's a link down below in the description to a video that shows you how to cut your face from a video or picture and then then you will have it like this so that you can move it and put it wherever you want in my templates i have my face and then i have some text so i have text this in titillium web heavy font i just have the text ready here so that i will always use the same font i will always use the same font size i recommend you to spend some time looking for a font that you like if your YouTube videos are monetized, if you're running ads on your YouTube videos, then you should be looking into fonts that are available for commercial use. Either you will buy a license or you will use a font that is free for commercial use. You can find hundreds of such fonts, for example on 1001 fonts, there's also a link down below in the description to that site so that you can start looking for a font that you enjoy. For YouTube thumbnails, the proper aspect ratio is 16 to 9. I'm making them in 1920 times 1080 because I'm sometimes using these for other purposes as well. But the YouTube recommended size is 1280 times 720. Either size will do just fine. So at the starting point, I have the expression of myself that I want here. I have the text template. Then I want some graphic on the background. I've created a lot of content for Blizzard games, and Blizzard has quite good licensing policy for video content because you're able to use all of Blizzard's art assets from their games to make your thumbnails. Other video game studios may have policies that vary. If you're making content about something else, then you should search for graphics that you can use freely on the internet. You can search Creative Commons, you can search Unsplashed, you can search Pixabay, for example. Again, there are links down below in the description for various sources of public domain or other free-to-use graphics. This thumbnail that I'm making here is going to be for a chess video. I have downloaded a bunch of public domain chess pictures, so I will be able to grab one from my library to use as a background. I will simply drag the image from my folder to the background. And now it's actually on the foreground, but I can arrange it. I can arrange the layers here. So the layers work so that the one that is on the bottom is at the bottom and then ones that come in front of it are on the top so you can arrange these layers so that they will be in the order that you like this image was conveniently quite good size but i could scale the layer so that i could arrange it i generally like to scale my background to be slightly larger than my canvas so that i can position it more easily just freely with the mouse so for example if i want to position this, i would probably make this 1940 wide even though my canvas is 1920 just so that it's a little bit easier for me to just grab the move tool and then position it as I please without worrying too much about it. There we can start to see the background there. I'm going a little bit too low, so I need to get this up a little and boil. I think I want it over there. Then I want to put some catchy text on the thumbnail. So I have this text here. But now we're going to replace that with, this is going to be, it's actually going to be more, more checkmate patterns in sacrifices. That's a little bit on top of my face. I don't like that. We can make it fit over there and then we can move that a little bit where it fits nicely and one thing that i really want to do is to add a bit of drop shadow for this text so i go to the text edit tool i press ctrl a choose all the text and then i go to filters menu and there light and shadow and i will add a bit of drop shadow that will make the text stand out a bit more from the background Growth radius for my purposes, something like six is quite okay. Opacity should be around one ish and okay. And there we would have this sort of thumbnail now. More checkmate patterns and queen sacrifices. Obviously, there are tons of things that you can do with YouTube thumbnails, especially if you start to go into editing the graphics themselves. But this is like how to make a very basic YouTube thumbnail. There's a 
background that relates to the subject. There's an image of your face. Then there is text that stands out and a little bit of drop shadow to make this text stand out a little bit more. Now that I have the thumbnail as I want in GIMP, then next thing I'm going to, I'm going to save this and I'm going to export this. And I'm going to export this as a JPEG file. JPEG, JPEG image there and export and export and it's ready. YouTube thumbnails are something that you can spend endless hours creating, but I hope that this small tutorial helps you to get started a little bit. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.